Hello YouTube. This is the last video of Knife Defense Anatomy 101. Um, if you look at this level of a self-defense where you have to either take someone's immobility permanently um, without surgery being done or take their life, um, at this point there's three different questions. Uh, there's three different levels, and that's why I kind of tried to portray. Um, the first is to take the tendons, which, you know, they have to go through surgery, and that's if you don't clip an artery. Um, second is if you cut the artery through, they'll die anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes, depending. Um, more than that, then we're going to start talking about instantaneous shutdowns. Well, what's an instantaneous shutdown? An instantaneous shutdown is what causes the nervous system to stop. It's what causes the nervous system to stop functioning. Period. The, the, there are a few ways of doing this. Um, the most reliable ways of doing this are to either put your knife into the brain bucket or to put your knife in the connection between the brain bucket and the rest of the body. That would be the back of the neck. Um, understand your spinal cord is about the size of my thumb. Okay. If there is an, a disconnection there, there is no more communication between the brain and the rest of the body. The brain is what tells the heart to pump. The brain is what tells the diaphragm to expand and contract. The brain is what controls the entire body. If you separate the brain from the rest of the body, your opponent will die. That's simple. Um, there are different ways of getting into the brain bucket. Um, one is through the eye, straight up. One is through the nose and another is through the mouth. Um, those are primarily the most generally accepted um, as the most effective. I'm going to also show, tell you that another way is to go through the temple because that's where the uh, skull is pretty sensitive right there plus you have a lot of arteries right there so even if you don't get fully through you're still clipping an artery um, also the top of the head skulls pretty weak right there um, especially if you're younger it doesn't fully harden until you're about 30 so you know as you get older it, it does harden but it, it doesn't harden fully until you're about 30 um, the next thing is to go through the neck um, you can either go straight from the back, straight from the front. Um, if you have an axe or something, I'm sure you can go to the side. Either way, disconnect the neck. Um, that's pretty much it. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your time. Defend your homes wisely.